right, so here he is with much fanfare, the number one lightweight contender challenging for UFC gold here tonight. Hay is in the barn. He feels like he has put in all the requisite work to realize the dream. He's been working so hard. When you watch the videos, you can see a guy that will not accept anything less than being super prepared for the biggest opportunity of his career. He has worked diligently. He has trained hard. He has brought in training partners. He's done everything. Now it's all about going out there and executing. He said he feels he's ready to do that and become the UFC champion. But it must be stated in this division with all of the contenders, oftentimes you only get one crack. We'll see what he can do. with that right hand. Counters now left hook to the head lands. Really good job by the fighter to land that kick. Oh, now lands a kick to the body. Another big body kick lands. Straight right hand, no good. Big shots being landed on both sides here. Trying to establish that jab once again. Massive body kick lands. Oh, tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Jacques. Nicely timed kick to the body for the champion. Sneaky body kick lands under the elbow. Oh, Straight right, he misses. All right, gets inside, gets the single collar tie here. Oh, Superman punch is good. Just over three minutes to go. This is how you control the fight. Keep fighting behind the jab. Nice shot there by the jab. Oh, nice slip to avoid that right hand. Throwing that jab yet again out of range. That was a nice combination there. Not there. Strong defense here as the hook to the head is blocked. Oh, nice straight left there.
Just over two minutes to go. Looked like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss by Jacase. Oh, nice. Big knee there. pretty good, but didn't sort of smell blood in the water, and now his opponent's back in the fight. I mean, blood's in the water. You got to go and get it. You got to go find the finish. You cannot let him off the hook like that, because now he will be motivated to try to go and hurt you. Hurt you. Oh, misses with the jab. Punches in bunches as he lands another combination there. Really doing a nice job stringing the shots together. He's doing a great job of stringing the shots together and also just mixing up the target and the attacks. Great job finding different places for his strikes to land. Oh, slips to avoid the right. Now, now these kicks are really starting to pile up since he found his range. This could be trouble. Back to the jab now, no good. 30 seconds now to go in round one. Big punch land. And then, oh, he got it again. oh, this could just about do it. Big knee to the body. Final seconds here. for the end of round one. Heading back to the corner now after that round. Jacasey's corner now. We'll take a look at that lip. The cut man is in, and you got to tighten that up. It's really starting to bleed now. We'll see if uh, it rears its ugly head as this fight continues. All right, there's the end of the round. So it was a huge strike to the head that stunned his opponent and, and nearly got him out of it. Yeah, that was a big moment. A big strike lands. His opponent's on wobbly legs. That is exactly what, what you want to see as you're walking back to your stool. Your opponent's staggering back to his corner and being hopeful that he can get it back together before the start of the next round. You ready to fight? You ready? Second round on the way. Oh, nicely done to block the strike and counter with the jab. Oh, nice jab. Oh, and he lands another leg kick there. I have a novel idea. Maybe the opponent should try to check one of these. He's got to try to check them, but he can't. Oh, he just hurt him. He just hurt him. He's hurt. Ooh. Nice leg kick. Oh. Boom. Big jab. Oh, with authority, the body. And he comes through with a big knee. <laughs> Huge left hand. All right, there's that switch kick, DC. He switches his feet really fast, sees the reaction of his opponent, then he chooses where he's going to land the strike. Well, he keeps going back to the well with that left hand, just out of range. Miss with that jab attempt there. He's looking for that left hand. Not there. All right, so some definite damage underneath the elbow now on the side of his opponent. A lot of strikes to the body starting to, start to add up. Yeah, a lot of strikes to the body and mixing up the attack. Not being one-dimensional, not headhunting inside the octagon. I, I think he has fought beautifully right now and it's starting to show itself. Three minutes and change to go in round two. Able to land with the lead uppercut there. Well, a headhunter he is not. Beautifully done as he attacks the body yet again. I mean, John, to have a guy 
live in a game plan and use it so effectively is very surprising. But with this guy, he's so smart. He's so disciplined. You kind of expect things out of the norm. Tonight, we see a body attack that we haven't seen in the octagon before. Jacasey's cheek looks like it's cut. Yes, it is starting to bleed a little bit now. Oh, pretty good technique as he lands the sidekick, DC. Real nice technique to land that sidekick. He did a great job of getting that leg up and then right to the target. Oh, nice. Man, that is loud. Another strike lands for the kickboxer. He really found that flow state pretty early in this fight, and he hasn't looked back. He found it really early. And when this guy gets into his groove, he is hell on wheels. And right now he is showing why he is such a high-level, high-regarded kickboxer. He is outclassing this guy. Jacasey's hook shot blocked, though, by the defense. Nice job getting that guard up to prevent any further damage. Straight punch. Useful. So the blood really starting to flow. Every time that area gets targeted, that cut's getting worse. It's getting worse and worse. And you see the blood starting to come down. That is when you start to watch the fighter to see what type of effect it's starting to take on him. Whether or not he's reaching for it. Whether or not he's confused by where it's at. We gotta start to watch his reactions now as we go forward. Back to the well with that right hand, it's no good. Oh! Oh, really good with the kick to the body. Well, I am not going out on a limb when I say he is on the wrong side of this fight. Maybe a little bit rattled after getting knocked down earlier in the round. But that's exactly what you expect, right? He took such a bad knockdown early. It's going to be on him to build back into this fight as we go forward. Man, look at that damage on the right side of his body. He got hurt again. Well, at this point, DC, I'm not sure if he's just biding his time or just trying to get some extra reps, but go finish the game. It seems like the guy's playing with his food. You know, he's having a good time out there. Everything's working. He's in the zone. It feels like at any moment he can end the night of his opponent. But he seems to be having fun. And hey, to each his own, I guess. I'd be rushing out of that octagon. Yeah, you don't play with your feet. No. Final seconds of the round. Oh! Huge right hand! There's the horn at the end of the round. He got knocked down just before the horn, so he'll walk back to his corner here. We'll see if they can get him physically, mentally back into the fight. What a moment at the end of that round. Well, he had a lot more than a puncher's chance coming in. Big knockdown for him in the previous round. DC, talk us through the highlight. He got in his opponent's face, landed that big punch that put his opponent flat on his back. He couldn't get the finish, but if he lands one more time just like that, he will get the victory. You ready to fight? Ready. Good. Round three of a possible five. <laughs> that kick blocked by Jacasey. Oh, lands another beautiful strike to the body, really starting to connect at will when it comes to work in the body, and especially effective doing it later in this fight. Didn't see a lot of that from him in the earlier rounds. Effective lead right hand there by Jacasey. Oh, that right eye's looking pretty swollen now. Might be shut before too long. Keeps going back to that jab, keeps throwing that jab, but unable to land. Missed with that attempt. Nice crack there. Again, going back to the jab just out of range.
Oh, Jacasey gets hit with that stiff jab there. Well, from a striking standpoint, he has put it all together tonight. He has landed a ton of significant strikes and pretty easy fight, I would think, for the judges to score. It's a pretty easy fight to score. Tonight was a night where everything went right, and that doesn't happen very often. Oh, Superman punch lands. Huge knee lands from the post. Oh, he did a great job of rotating him into an underhook. Oh, and that kick is blocked. Oh. Just over three minutes to go now. Heard him again. Ooh, diving punch lands. That was nice. Jacasey's mouth is just disgusting, unless you like these sort of things, but he is pouring blood right now, and I think the referee might call on the ringside physician. We might even get a stoppage here soon. Big right hook coming, it's blocked. We have crossed the midpoint of this fight. Well, you've got to admire the urgency here. He is trying to keep the judges out of it, lighten up his opponent left and right. All right, so the redness is omnipresent now. He has absorbed a whole lot of body strikes. Pretty good poker face, but I'm not sure how many more of these he wants to take. No, he doesn't. He needs to do something different. He cannot continue to get beat up like this. But it's on his opponent. It's on the guy that is landing these strikes to continue down the path until he makes you change something. Do this over and over because it seems like this is your easiest path to victory. Nice job. Jacasey's an absolute mess. Referee might have caught an eye of the ringside position right there. They might stop this fight. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. Oh! That is gonna do it! Fine board for him, but for the winner, this is certainly exactly what he was looking for here tonight.